Good afternoon. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's May the 10th and I'm really happy because my third daughter, my baby girl, she was the third one, is 54 today and having a wonderful holiday in Yorkshire. Safe travel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the readings for May the 10th. I'll just do a little prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The reading, as I said, is Isaiah 61, verse 1a. The Lord has anointed me. He has commissioned me to bring glad tidings to the lonely and to heal the broken hearted. The Reflection The Holy Spirit anointed Blessed Damien to be a missionary to the lepers. Damien brought them the word of God which he preached with word and with his life. When he contracted leprosy he became one with them thus destroying the isolation they had experienced because of their illness. The prayer for today, Lord, may I reach out to the lepers of my age. Amen. Lepers in the modern age still exist. In fact, it's one of the charities that I rotate on my helping list of different charities. And that is one of them, because it must be the worst thing in the world to have an illness like that. So it hasn't gone away completely, but the scripture there can point us to people who are treated as if they were lepers, or have some something that is... There are some countries where people are... Well, Possibly India is one that comes to mind quickly where they have a caste system and you just don't mix with certain people. Fortunately, we in the West don't have that kind of thing, but we probably treat asylum seekers or um, illegal immigrants who come on the boats. And, well, I'm sure we do because too many of them come over and we can't cope with them because the system is, 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 is so complicated that my own personal view on that is I was married to a Jamaican and there was no way I'd bring him over in a boat or illegally, he would have to come through the right channels. And I went through the right channels. I went to the High Court in the Strand in 2012 and he was not allowed to come, not because there was anything wrong with him or anything, but my income was too low. I had to show an income of £20,000 to bring him over, even though he was young enough, younger than me, and could have worked. Um, but it was not allowed, so I obeyed the law. So me personally, when people come over on boats, I'm a bit annoyed. I have to be honest, I am annoyed because my husband, I wouldn't have dreamt of letting him go to France or somewhere and come over on a boat. It's not the right way. I believe there's a right way and a wrong way. And if you want asylum, you can ask asylum 
uh, in any country in the world and you can give your reasons. I think that people must want to come here through the right door, not the back door, not from the sea on a boat. That's just the way I feel. I, I, I th think that there has to be a correct channel because you can only take so many people. So I think we can find lepers who are here who haven't got leprosy um, and we can support them. I mean, two of my now daughters are from Gaza. They were asylum seekers and they came the right way and did the right way and I supported them through everything over a long period of time. But, um, and everything as well, but I believe there's right and wrong ways to do things, but we still, the Bible teaches us we should look after strangers and foreigners and this and that. I believe we should. We should show a good face to them. But they need to come through the right channels to come here. They're, 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 I think it's wrong when they come the wrong way. That means their intentions are not are not correct. They should go through the proper ways. Then we should welcome them. I'm not saying go and get all people off the boats and say, oh, come, come, come. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the ones that have come here legally through the proper procedures, we should welcome them. We should welcome those kind of people and other people who are ostracised for whatever reasons. As Christians, I think we should follow the moral um, obligations of the faith. You know, and they're there. They're there for all of us. And we should help people in any way which we can in our own communities and stuff like that. I think so. We should be available to help. So that's how we should um, look at the leprosy thing in, in nowadays. There are always people in need who we could help. And I think we, we, we should if we can. And if we can't do anything because physically we're unable to, there's one thing we can do. We can pray. We can pray for the needs of those people that we see, the homeless ones on the streets, and the young people with uh, all kinds of issues and we can pray for those who've um, got addictions um, you know family breakups is a single parent one parent families uh, we, we, we can pray for sick children we can pray for the government believe it or not we should pray for the government to make the right decisions because they've got so much power now over people's lives and they shouldn't still have it in my opinion they should be giving it back to the MPs now to let them all argue amongst themselves because uh, the recent elections look like we've got a one party system at the moment there isn't any real opposition so I really am concerned I really believe we should be praying that the government makes moral and correct decisions and we should pray for the unborn children that are still continually being aborted we, we, we have to pray for those lost souls you know and the mothers who are put in the situation of being persuaded or forced or whatever happens they, women do not have support anymore to have a baby. It's not good, not good at all. So we have a lot to pray for. We don't have to physically find a leper. We've got plenty to pray for, and that's what we should do. It's our faith. Anyway, thank you. God bless you, and thank you for listening. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance and healing for those who need healing either physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically or spiritually. And thank you once again for listening and may you be joyful and happy in the Lord.